The film Gravity is off to an astronomical start, you may say. The movie shattered the October box office record. It also was a hit among film reviewers. But Gravity is facing some criticism from another group of experts. Bill Whitaker looks at why some are giving the drama a reality check. Man down. On a shuttle mission to repair the Hubble Space Telescope, catastrophe strikes in the form of space debris, sending everything spinning out of control, including astronauts played by Sandra Bullock and George Clooney. JPL astrophysicist Kevin Grazier was science advisor for the film. The debris is now putting the, um, the space shuttle in, in jeopardy, and they've been told by Houston they have to get home, and they have to get home right now. So this is scientifically sound? Uh, yes, it is. All in dazzling 3D. Audiences can't believe their eyes. Neither can many scientists. Neil deGrasse Tyson, director of New York's Hayden Planetarium, criticized the movie as scientifically inaccurate. For instance, in a Twitter rant Sunday, he says the astronauts couldn't think of getting to the International Space Station, or ISS. It's nowhere near the Hubble in space. They're in totally different orbits. Grazier says the filmmakers immerse themselves in the science. Well, they knew that in the real world, you cannot get from the Hubble Space Telescope all the way down to ISS. But so what? We're not doing documentaries. Tyson had more complaints. He tweeted, when Clooney releases Bullock's tether, he drifts away. In zero G, a single tug brings them together. Right. Whoops. <laughs> and Bullock's hair wouldn't have remained perfectly quaffed, Tyson tweeted. Mysteries of gravity, why Bullock's hair did not float freely on her head, like Dr. Katie Coleman's did when she flew in the shuttle. Welcome to the International Space Station. Story trumps science every time. When I looked around the theater, people weren't going, they were going, and I think we had. Hatch, I can't see you anymore. Do it now. If this really happened in outer space, what would have happened to her? She would have slowly asphyxiated, and she would have had pleasant dreams as she drifted off. So, a very short movie. Very short movie, and a very unsatisfying movie. Whether gravity is scientifically accurate or not, audiences seem to find it very satisfying indeed. For CBS This Morning, Bill Whitaker, Los Angeles. Well, you don't want to let those details get in the way of a good story. I was going to say, I haven't seen the movie yet, and I like Neil deGrasse Tyson very, very much. But can't we just go to the movies and enjoy a good movie? Yeah. What do you think, Charlie? I think you can enjoy it and still know these facts. Yeah. Okay.